10.30 on, the Anklam formation has to contend with constant German fighter attack from all levels and all clock positions. During this time, the gunners aboard the fortresses knock down fighter after fighter. However, the gunnery of the forts, no matter how sensational it may be, is only to ensure the successful performance of the mission. It is not the job or purpose of forts or liberators to seek out action with enemy fighters. They merely defend themselves against enemy fighter attack so that they can destroy their target and bring their crews back safely to their home bases. The anxious moment comes now for the lead navigator and bombardier. The formation is approaching the initial point. That is the point where the wing will turn off and make its bombing run on the target. Upon proper navigation to this point may rest the success of the entire mission. Pilot and left waist gunner. We're over the IP. Release fires. Waste gunner to pilot. Roger. Once the combat wing has reached the IP, it breaks up into three component groups, for the wing formation is too unwieldy for a unit bombing operation. As the IP is reached and the lead airplane of the lead group is about to make the turn, it fires two red flares, spaced five seconds apart. Then the group makes its turn onto the run-up. The low group goes on straight ahead for 20 seconds, then makes its turn. The high group proceeds for 20 seconds beyond the low group's turn, then it turns on to the run-up. The most critical defensive period in the mission has begun. The wing to accomplish most efficiently its primary purpose, the bombing of the target, has sacrificed its mutual defensive firepower, and the groups are thrown on their own. Now the crucial moment is almost here the moment around which the entire mission revolves. open, the group is committed to its attack. No evasive action may be taken until the bombs are away. And at this time, the formation is most vulnerable to attack, both from flak and enemy fighters. Pilot, 